čaute, decka, ja som Vaška, kto ma nepozná, tak ja som tá teta srandovná, čo chodí s takým pojazným knihkopecom po svete a číta deťom. Mám knihkopecto, ktoré sa volá Činčuáčik. Je to knihkopecto tzv. na troch kolesách. Ak ste o tom ešte nepočuli, tak určite, keď nám táto O, toto také domáce väzenie nešťastné skončí, tak verím tomu, že ma nájdete kde si v parku, ako si tam budem rozkladať ten, ten srandovný tricykel, ako si budem z neho vyberať rôzne knížky. A keď ma takto uvidíte, tak určite sa za mnou zastante, zastavte, spolu si nejakú knižku pozrieme, prečítame a určite si tam nájdete aj niečo svoje. No ja s týmto tricyklom tak chodím medzi deti aj čítať, lebo ja strašne rada čítam s deťmi, rada počúvam deti, ako čítajú. No a keď sa teraz nemôžeme stretávať takto, tak sa stretneme teda aspoň online. Budeme si teda spolu dnes čítať. Akú knižku som dnes vybrala? Dnes som si povedala, že začneme trošku netradične, začneme anglickou knižkou, ale verím tomu, že to vám vôbec nevadí, že vás to práve že tak celkom nabudí, lebo si budeme čítať veľmi známy príbeh, ale po anglicky a keby ste náhodou niečomu, nedaj Bože, nerozumeli, tak kľudne sa mi ozvite a povieme si to potom celé pekne po slovensky. No, ešte rýchlo predstavím sa na tú knižku, ona sa volá A Year Full of Stories, Čiže rok plný príbehov. Je to nádherná kniha, lebo sú tam, naozaj sú tam rozprávky, príbehy z celého sveta. No a dnes si prečítame nemeckú rozprávku, ktorá sa volá The Frog Prince. Čiže Žaby kráľ. Long ago and far away there lived a lonely princess. One morning the princess wandered beyond the palace garden into the wood, throwing and catching her golden ball. Suddenly, a stag leaped across her path and she missed her catch. The golden ball bounced off a log and fell into a deep, dark pool. The princess stared into the water, but she couldn't see even a glint of gold. She began to cry. As her tears dropped into the pool, two glassy eyes blinked up at her. Out of the water clambered a frog. Oh, the princess shattered. She hated slimy creatures. But to her surprise, the frog opened his mouth to speak. Nah. Why are you sad, little princess? He asked. The princess was so astonished that she forgot to be afraid. Oh, I've lost my golden ball. She answered. The frog hoped a little nearer. I can catch it for you, he said. The princess dried her eyes. Oh, I promise you a ruby as my thumb if you bring it to me, she said. The frog laughed. I don't need a ruby. But if you promise to love me and let me sit at your table and eat from your plates, sip from your cup and sleep on your pillow, Then I'll fetch your golden ball. No, I promise you whatever you wish, said the princess, for the ball was a favorite present from her father. And so the frog jumped into the pool with a splash. Before long, the princess saw something gleam in the murky water and up came the frog with her ball in his mouth. Look at that. That's the story. That's the story we know. And so he came up with a ball. <gasps> Thank you, she cried happily. And before the frog could catch his breath, she slipped the ball safely into her pocket and hurried away from, from palace to the palace. Wait, take me with you shouted the frog, but the princess was already too far away to hear. The next morning the princess was having supper when she heard a tiny croak at the foot of her chair. She looked down and gasped. What's the matter? cried the king. It's, it's the horrid all the water splasher, exclaimed the queen. The frog made a bow. Remember your promise, princess, he said. 
I've traveled all night and day to find you. What does this mean? asked the king. The princess explained how the frog had fetched the ball in return for a promise. Mm -hmm. Then you must keep a promise, promise, my dear, insisted the king. The princess looked at the frog's warty skin and wet feet. I can't bear to pick him up, father, she said, but the king only gave her a frown. So the princess laid a spoon on the floor and let the frog hop on board, and then she lifted him into the table. <laughs> now you, you must let me eat from your plate, princess, said the frog. I'm hungry after the, the, diving to the bottom of the deep, dark pool. The princess was hungry herself, but she pushed her plate towards him. When the frog saw her fine food, he shook his head. Mm. Frogs eat slugs and worms, he said. So the king ordered the food men to fetch slacks and worms from the garden and put them on the princess's plate. Thank you, said the frog politely. He opened his mouth and shut out his tongue. Oh, I feel quite sick, said the princess, turning away, and she refused to eat another morsel. Now you must let me drink from your cup, said the frog. I'm thirsty after carrying your heavy ball from the bottom of the pool. The princess hesitated, but she caught the king's eye. So she tipped her cap until the frog could hold it with his tiny fingers. He gulped noisily, splashing her drink on the tablecloth. I'll get words if I share that cap, cried the princess. So she went thirsty. When the frog had finished eating and drinking, he bowed to the king and queen, stretched his tiny, skinny legs and yawned. Mm. <gasps> now you must let me sleep on your pillow, princess, he said. I'm tired after traveling all night and all day. The princess didn't want to carry the cold damn creature to her bedchamber, but she knew it was useless to protest. <sighs> Hop onto my shoulder, frog, said the princess, and although he smelled of poet, she tried not to flinch. <sighs> at least I won't have to look at him when I'm asleep, she thought, and tomorrow I'll have kept all my promises and he must leave. The princess had a big bed. She let the frog sleep on the side and kept herself far away from him as she could. Good night, princess, said the frog wearily. Good night, frog, she said it and shut her eyes tight. In the morning, when the princess awoke, the frog was sitting on her pillow looking very unhappy. Why are you sad, frog, she asked. You let me sit at your table and eat from your plate, sip from your cup and sleep on your pillow. But, but do you love me, princess? As he spoke these words, the princess caught sight of her golden ball on the shelf. She thought of how the frog had dived to the bottom of the deep, dark pool for her, how he traveled all day and all night to find her. How she had never slept so well with him asleep beside her. You think I'm a hard, hard creature, said the frog sadly. Oh, it's not true, cried the princess. Suddenly, she no longer saw his worthy skin of his webbed feet. She saw only his gentle eyes and his kind heart. Oh, I was foolish and blind. She reached across the pillow and kissed his tiny green head. All at once, there was a flash of light and the frog disappeared. Standing before her was a handsome young prince. 
Oh, I've been under the spell of a wicked witch, he said. At last, your love has set me free. <gasps> the king and the queen came running. What happened? he cried. Who is this? Oh, it's old water splasher, laughed the prince. The princess was so astonished that she could not speak. She leaped out of bed and flagged her arms around the prince's neck. Ah, dear frog, she sighed, dearest frog prince, thank you for keeping your promise, my love, he said. And the golden ball tumbled off the shelf and rolled at their happy feet. Tak, toť si ho. To bol krásny príbeh o žabom princovi. Na budúce si ho môžeme dať po slovensky, alebo si môžeme prečítať niečo, 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 niečo iné slovenské, alebo aj anglické. Kľudne mi napíšte do komentárov, alebo kamkoľvek sa mi ozvite, že čo chcete počuť a uvidíme, čo sa s tým dá urobiť. Držte sa, decka, čaute!